Hi guys, welcome back to Astro Photography Class. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix trail stars and fix in sight. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. In order to fix these trail stars and make them more round, I should need to zoom in on here. As you can see, these trail stars right here are not that trail in the foreground, but in the background, they're much more trail, like you can see. Now, this will work on uh, moderately trailed images, but not completely trailed over images to where they're like smeared across the screen. That won't work. We're going to use a process called deconvolution. And you can find it in process deconvolution deconvolution or process all processes deconvolution. In order to do this with deconvolution, we're first going to have to set a length. The length is how much trail your stars are, or how trail your stars are, sorry. Um, and the angle is basically what angle they're on. Are they like on an angle like this, like vertically or horizontally, or are they on like a 45 degree angle? That's basically what the angle is. And you want the star over here in the little preview to match your star in the field of view. Now, um, what we want to do is set the length and angle to match it. And I already have them set. You can just drag the slider like this, and it changes the length, and you can change the angle. And mine was set to 136, and that's what is good for mine. Stars, that's how sure they are, what angle they are. So we want it to be, the length to be around 11. All right. So I think I have that set. Now make sure the ringing is checked. That way we don't have as much dark halos around it. Now, it is going to have a little bit of dark halo just because you're removing some of that excess star, but it'll look much better. All right, let's do this thing. And I like, like to keep my iterations at five for this in the deconvolution. All right, now we're going to click apply and see what that does. And this will take a second. It's only five iterations, though. It shouldn't take for, for like 25 iterations like it used to do. As you can see now, they're a little bit better. They're not as trailed. As you can see, they're still maybe slightly trailed, but they're much better. As you can see now, they're more round. If we compare that to this, to this, as you can see, these are much more trailed. If we apply that again, just watch here. As you can see now, they are a little bit less trailed. Now, this is depending on how trailed your stars are. It'll work a little bit better. Now, if we zoom out the image, you see we have this now. We had this before. It's not that noticeable when you're zooming out. It, it, this is because my stars aren't that trailed. But if your stars would be more trailed, you just add more length, and then they would be less trailed. All right, guys. looks like it's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please subscribe. Anyways, until next time, clear skies.